and welcome to our first ever Art Hacks video. Woo I'm Hannah. I'm Corey. And we are professional artists. Meaning that we do art to make monies, not that we know what we are doing. Yeah. No, we kind of wing it, but that's probably a, every artist. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I've never had a set plan with my art, but... No, I think there are some people who actually know what they're doing and they plan mm -hmm. out, but um, we've yeah. never been wants to do that. Nope, we're not them. <laughs> nope. Today we are going to be trying a little art experiment to see if we know our paints. See if we can tell the difference between professional versus student grade, uh, if we can guess the brand, if we can even guess the price, and maybe the name of the color. We're also going to attempt to tell you a little bit about each type of paint and how they are typically used. So, Let's play a game. Okay, so how we set this up is we decided that each of us would pick out the paints for the other one. And they'll have to... What? You're sipping your soup. What? What happened to you? You have one job. I've slobbered upon myself. I was on a roll, too. I know. <laughs> one hour later. Okay. So how we set this up is we each would pick out paints for the other one, and we are going to test them on our little sheets of paper little drawings. Here. Yes, our drawings we did. We're going to use one paint per drawing. So yes. we have one watercolor, one gouache, one acrylic, and one oil. And yes. so each one will be on a painting. And I picked out her four, she picked out my four. Yes, we don't, don't know. I don't know what she's got mm -hmm. for me. We don't know anything. We have... Uh, 16 options to choose from for the for paints. The brand. Uh, only eight of them are actually the brands that we are using. Eight mm -hmm. of them are fake. Well, they're not fake brands, but they're they're decoys. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to take turns trying out the paints and talking about them and what we like and don't like about them. Like they got a funny smell or yep. they don't spread really easy or opaque, all this stuff. She's and more watch, technical. Watch me bash something that costs $300. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll make some art companies mad, maybe. Let's not do that. So we're going to talk about, yeah, the quality, all that stuff, professional versus student grade and all that. And we're going to take a stab at the color name and our reasons for guessing all of the things. Yep, and price. Mm -hmm. But we have to tell each other the size of the paint. Yes. So that kind of gets it in the right ballpark. There is only going to be one winner, but there could be two losers. And so there probably will be. <laughs> the winner! Yeah. Gets confetti bombed. Yes. And the, the loser, loser cleans it up. Yes. So, yay. The so, vacuum is sitting over there for whoever loses. Oh, so first we have to prepare each other's paints. They do go together. Yeah, I just thought they were all going to be pastels and it did not happen. No, but they are in a really nice color scheme. Oh, these are cute mm -hmm. too. I haven't done watercolor in forever. You're totally gonna screw me on this, but I'm sorry your paint's so bad. This is this is actually not bad. It's like once it gets liquidy. like it's very pigmented and it's very opaque. And we do have our little test paper, right? Now. Yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot. I need a swatchy swatch. Swatchy swatchy swatch swatch. This is thick. Well, not thick, but it is very okay. pigmented. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I like watercolors that the pigment goes a long way. If it starts getting chalky on me or grainy on me, I'm like, mm mm. I also like ones that kind of have a mind of their own and just go wherever. Yeah. Because that's the beauty of watercolor. It's it's pigment in gum arabic. So. What is, what is that gum arabic? Gum arabic. It's like a sappy kind of consistency when it's in its liquid form. I actually have some dried gum Arabic oh. that I use for food stuff. Huh. I can't talk about it the same time. I can't. It's, it's actually hard, yeah, but very difficult. I think it's, it'll be good for it. It'll be fun. Look at your little hedgehog. Well, I have zero idea of what brand this is because you have a lot of different watercolors. All right, so there we go. That one's good. You go first. Okay. Let's see if I see the brand. I'm looking for the brand that I thought it was, and I'm sitting here going, the brand is not here. <laughs> it's 
So we have Craft Smart, what Apple brand do you Barrel, think it is? Or Basic Soho, Pebeo, uh, Martha Stewart, uh, <laughs> Turner, Artist Loft, Tarvin, Liquitex, Essential, Golden, Windsor Newton, Dollar Rowney, and Sakura. I thought it was Grumbacher. Oh man, it's not Grumbacher. Is that a good brand? It's an okay brand, but it's not what I thought it was. <laughs> okay, so oh, I'm just going to pick one of the funky ones. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's not Dollar Rowney because I've used Dollar Rowney before, but I could be entirely wrong because some colors have different consistencies. Why don't we hmm. narrow it down to our top three? Okay. That'll help. I Something's telling me this one. Hebeo. Hebeo. It's a seven milliliter tube. It's a tiny little tube. Okay. Tiny little tube. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say it's around like three, four dollars a tube. I'm just going with phthalo blue. Okay. Because it, it... Professional or student? I would say professional. Yeah. It is. Soho. Watercolor. Okay. But I it is Soho. manganese. Manganese blue hue. It okay. is about three dollars a tube. Uh, you guessed professional, mm -hmm. which is not correct. All right. It's harder than we thought. I'm it would gonna be. go with Charvin. 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 Yeah, I don't know. Charmin. Because mm -hmm. I have absolutely no idea okay. what that brand is. I've never seen it before. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to guess. What size tube is it? It's that one. Okay. Um, I'm gonna guess about three dollars a tube. I'm also gonna guess that it is student grade. Let's see, what was the last thing? Oh, color. I'm going to guess Goldenrod. It, it is Artist Loft. Artist Loft? What? Artist Loft brand. And it that's yellow where it ochre. busted out. Yeah, yellow ochre. Oh my gosh. I should have known. So this was about $1 a tube. Just because you can get what? it in like a pack of 10. And it's like $10. Well, I'm impressed. Well, I did get student grade, correct? Yes. Yes. I did so get, we'll I was like at one point. One point. Either. We're gonna go on to gouache, correct? <laughs> is that what you're ready for? Oh, this is very opaque. This stuff looks thick. So, do you wet this paint first, or do you wet your piece first um, with it? I usually get a little bit of water and just kind of mix it all up because sometimes it does separate, especially if it's been in the cold. With gouache, I like to go in really opaque. I don't water it down so much like with watercolor, and I don't wet the paper usually. Okay. Uh, because if you wet the paper and it spreads out too much. Depending on the quality of the gouache, mm -hmm. sometimes it can get really grainy and separate. Wow, this has got some nice coverage. Oh, this is thick. Now, there are two types of gouache out there. There's your designer gouache or just regular gouache. And then there is acrylic gouache or acro gouache. Mm -hmm. Acro gouache you cannot re-wet because it is more acrylic or polymer based. Then the other gouache, the other gouache is like designer gouache and stuff. It is more like watercolor where it's gum Arabic based. So you can actually re-wet it and blend the color. This is definitely a lot harder challenge than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Because right? I was like, I know my paints. I can tell the difference between my paints because there are definitely ones that I prefer over others. I'm like, there's not any out there that are better than my preferred paints. And I'm sitting here going... Your art artist loft. loft is looking awful nice. <laughs> should, I, should I go ahead and start picking out what I think it is while you're painting? Yeah. Charm and Ar Artist Loft and Windsor Newton are the ones that I'm trying to decide between. Okay. Yeah. And I chose Dalla Rowney, mm -hmm. Liquitex, just because, and Sakura. 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 Sa Sakura. Mm -hmm. So I would say it's like something like nicer, like Windsor and Newton, but I have Windsor and Newton gouache. It is a similar texture, but it mm -hmm. is not that color, and I do not know if they manufacture that color. I'm gonna go with Artist Loft again, just because they faked the pants <laughs> off me last time. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with that. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Artist Loft. I'm gonna guess about dollar fifty a tube, student grade, and the color is crimson. I don't think you got any points. Oh, dang you it. Have to see. You'll have to let me know if okay. it's professional or not. Because this was her paint. She let me pick out of like the okay. other things. So it Oh, is... it's my paint. Oh, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> oh, I know what it is then. <laughs> well, see? No. That is oh, fair Oh, man. Now. I know it's... what it is now. So it's Turner. Turner. Design gouache. That's why I love it. It's coral red. And is it professional? 
It's professional. Because it's worth $14. Oh my gosh. For this tube. Oh no, I got paint all over it. I'll, I'll clip this one. <laughs> but yeah, oh that was Turner. What you gotta guess? <sighs> okay. Uh, um, I'm looking at my paints, so you should know what I have. I think it's professional. What size tube? This one is a 25 milliliter tube. It's the same thing? size as that. Oh, okay. Five dollars. Um, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with this one. Sakura. Yeah. And the color name. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just gonna say olive because I know this is probably a funky like color. It's like ah, oh, I should have guessed. Also Turner. And it is Celadon. Celadon. Mm-hmm. What is that? Is that the name of the green? It's the name of the green. Oh. No. And let's see, what'd you say? Oh, you got the price right because it is about five dollars a tube. Oh. Well, then maybe and I'm it wrong is professional. about. Am I wrong about that one then? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, the internet. But but <laughs> I guessed a dollar fifty, so I was nowhere near. <laughs> I was still nowhere near. I gave it like half. So oh, you wait. have now three points, and I have. One. Man. And this was the stuff I'm supposed to be good at. Yeah, this was. This was oh, I'm going to do this. Oh and the gosh. whole time I've been like, I'm going to be honest, I don't know any paints. I recognize this pink, I think. I just can't remember the brand name. <laughs> I know this pink, though. You think you know it, Hannah? You do? I think I do. Have I been an idiot? And like... Charvin or Charvin is actually the <laughs> brand. You have seen it. I know I've seen it. <laughs> I was there when you bought it. <laughs> yep. But watch me not pay attention. I feel like this would be a good paint to paint like a birdhouse. <laughs> or like, or like a, yeah. a flower pot. Or I, I feel like this is one of those paints you get in the little bottle. It's not in a tube paint. Well, I'll um, tell you, it is two yeah. ounces. I'm going to say it's like a dollar fifty. I don't think it's basic. Craft smart, though, because this is a crafty paint. This is the paint, like I said, that goes on like a birdhouse or something your grandma's doing. I think it's craft smart. All right. So you said craft smart, dollar fifty to student. And what do you think the color is? Oh, is it a fun name? It's huh? a fun name. Oh, is it like seafoam green? Oh my goodness, you were very, very close. What was it? It's Ocean Breeze. Oh, I knew it was an ocean one. It is Craft Smart. Woo! It is Student. Yes. <laughs> um, but it is only 80 cents a tube. Oh, Or 80 okay. cents a bottle. I gave it too much. Yeah. All right. Well, almost had it all. Yeah. Almost. Okay. I'm going to go with Charvin. Just because I've been picking that one the whole time. <laughs> I'm going to guess it is professional. It is about 5 to $6 a tube. Probably about 25, 35 milliliters. And then guessing the color. Um, I'm going to guess where it's going. Okay. All right. So you were right. It is Charmin. Yay. And if I'm okay. saying it wrong, I don't know. They don't tell you these things when you buy it. You did good. I was like trying to keep it together. I was like, <laughs> if she picks gold, she's going to be mad. But okay. So you got the brand right. Uh huh. Uh, it's Caribbean oh, pink. Oh. Yes, yeah, that's like, why you use it for sunsets. <laughs> yes, it's the perfect one for sunset. All right. So um, how much a tube is it? So what Google? Okay. So for said, this size, yeah, I would guess about you know twelve. That's pretty good. That was the sales price it gave me. Okay. But the original price was twenty two dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I did get the brand. I get did get the quality. I did not get the name, and I did not get the price. Oh, the oil. Mm -hmm. The greenish mm -hmm. one. It's not bad texture. I don't really know too much about oil. Mm -mm. But these oil paints, because oil paint does not dry very fast, depending on the quality. I think the more professional it is, the longer it takes to dry. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me. I don't know why. That smells... It smells like oil, but... It doesn't smell like linseed oil, which is what they usually make oil paint with. It's usually linseed oil and pigment. I don't know what linseed oil smells like. I know. It just oh makes Look at those angry eyebrows. He looks a little bit like Groucho Marx. I know. And that was such a cute bunny. That's this poor bunny. He doesn't even look like a bunny anymore. There's not a lot of fumes from it, which mm -hmm. it's usually the solvents that stink and the solvents that are yeah. hazardous to your health. <laughs> 
My poor bunny. Maybe you should take the blue and add to it. <laughs> Give him an outline. I'll fix him. I have absolutely no idea what that is, so. I'm thinking it's, I want to say it's on the lower end, mm -hmm. price-wise, but I can't. Okay. I mean, I, I think I'm okay between these two. So Essential, which I'm not even sure, it could be one of the, like, the bargain brands. And Windsor and Newton are what I'm trying to decide between. So I'm going to, I'm going to guess Windsor and Newton. And if it's Windsor and Newton, it's professional. About... <laughs> yeah, <it's like laughs> about $5 a tube and let's see the color name of the color your Verde. <laughs> Verde. okay is that all the guesses is that's that... all my guesses it is essentials oh my goodness and um it is emerald green oh that's it's royal long uh oh. yeah see I didn't know that I thought it was essentials the company is Royal Long Nickel. Well, this Long was Nickel. your oil paint. You should know what it is. <laughs> it's the paint I never used. Like, I don't know what it is. Okay. Um, so this one is that. It's student grade, and mm -hmm. the price is $1 because you can get a pack of, yeah. of 12. I didn't get any right. <laughs> I thought I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> this was harder. <laughs> Ones that I've guessed have been just sheer luck. Fun. I am going to try this. See it through till the end, Hannah. You know, I think it's either Essentials or... I'm going to go with Apple Barrel, actually, just for the heck of it. Because I like that name. Okay. So, I think it's Apple Barrel. Um, probably student grade. Color. I'm going to go with a cobalt blue. Or it's Prussian. And the price is going to be like... I keep going low. Like $3 or $2. i am going to go with that. I smell it more now all of a sudden. It is Windsor & Newton, Thalo Blue, yeah. professional quality. It's about $5 a tube. That is a different Thalo Blue because the ones I have are more like greeny. <laughs> I did not think it was Thalo. That was the only thing I thought I knew the name of. Oh, well, <laughs> we all know who the winner is here. No! I totally forgot <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Oh my uh, goodness! Well, I got a little bit of that too. That was fun. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining us. <laughs> we'll have to do this again, but I think we should do it with more paints and less choices. And I need to actually Google some stuff before we do this because <laughs> I actually need to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I act like I know what I'm talking about, hey, but that's our that's... artwork. For the most part, looks like we know what we're talking about. But you can follow us on our like Instagrams, and I promise you'll be more wowed than you were today. <laughs> yeah. But. So if you have any requests for future videos, let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. Just yes. madness and misinformation. You can check out all of our social media. We will also yep. link that in the description box. And uh, we will see y'all next month. We're going to try to release these yes. every month. Alright, bye! Bye! <laughs> well, <laughs> that didn't explode. Oh gosh! This is so